Scratch is full of these little features that once you see them, you go, man, I really wish I'd known about that feature. That would have saved me lots and lots of work. Unfortunately, it's really hard to teach you all of those features because you need to sort of have the context for them before you go looking for them and before you need them. But here's one that I, that I think you guys might appreciate knowing about. So let me give you a little background. Here's a story that one of your classmates made. And, and she sent me an email saying, Scratch is acting flaky. It just isn't doing what I want it to do. What she wanted was that in this scene right here, uh, and I put a shortcut in to start in the middle, that that cake was supposed to come down here to the, the prince, and he was supposed to hold it and say his lines, and then after he was done saying his lines, he was supposed to walk out of the way, and these, and the cake was supposed to move over here, and these packages were then, this square was supposed to, or the present was supposed to make a bunch of little uh, square packages, right? And so she said to me, hey, wait a minute, you know, it, it's, the problem is that the the present is, is actually making the squares twice. It's making it here about halfway through, and then once it gets partway through and the prince is done, uh, it, the, the screen clears and it starts all over again. And she was really confused as to why this would happen twice. And so I started looking around. I went into the gift, and I recognized that the, the set of squares are being made due to this double nested loop right here. Uh, a number is something you put in in your interactive story, and so I'd put in five, and so it starts making five rows of five packages. I love this. It's a neat little thing here. She's got kind of a fun thing going on. And, and what causes this to happen is that, you know, when, when the gift receives the broadcast, Q gift line. And so uh, clearly, if, if this is starting it and getting halfway through, and then stopping and, and starting all over again, clearing the screen and starting all over again, uh, it, it was very obvious to me that, that, that this message, Q gift line, is being sent twice. And you start to say, well, okay, where? And so you spend a whole bunch of time looking around for where it is, right? It's over here in the prints somewhere. Uh, you know, here's Q gift line in the prince slash princess. This changes gender based on what I put in. And so there's one, and, and, and it was really hard to find where where's the other one coming from. Uh, it was clear to me it had to be there, but where does it come from? And so here's a feature that you probably haven't discovered just tinkering around your own. Whenever you see a broadcast block, whether it is a when I receive broadcast block or whether it is a actual broadcast block, whenever you see one of these, you can right click on that block. And in addition to the duplicating and delete that you can do with most of the blocks, down here at the bottom, there's a list of other additional options. Show senders, show receivers, and then clear all of that out. Uh, I've actually never had a use for clear yet, but I use the show senders and receivers a lot. In this case, I know that when I receive Q gift line, must you know, I mean Q gift line has to be being sent twice. And so I want to know who are the senders of this command. And when I do that, you'll notice that both the stage and the prince princess have a yellow box around them. Aha! The stage must be sending this this message even though I don't really intend it. And so I can go over to the stage and I can look around and it turned out when I get way down here to the bottom of the stage, the stage gets the broadcast, cue the desserts, it plays the sound birthday, which you may have heard playing in the background when I played this, and then it immediately cued the gift line. Well this is much earlier than it's supposed to be and in fact this person didn't want the stage to, to do this. It wanted the stage to be uh, sending, doing this when it's all done. So we just, we throw this out. It's the prince princess who's supposed to be sending that, not the stage. And so now when we get to this point, the gift comes down, he says his lines, and I've started this in the middle, so not all of the, the, the work happened. But now the cake comes down here when it's supposed to, and the present only does this one time, not one and a half times. So, once again, whenever you see a broadcast or a receive, if you right-click on it, you can see who sends the broadcast, and you can also see who's receiving the broadcast. Great way to debug when you're trying to figure out what's going on when things are split between multiple sprites.